Times on April 21st, you said that the, you told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Could you explain what you were trying to say? Well, it, it, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, but that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. You might want to touch base right now. In 1985, Bernard Eastland applied for patents that could make some of these ideas real. Well, Nikola Tesla, a visionary genius, saw ways to tame the sky to make the atmosphere glow. He developed alternating current, high-frequency radio technology, and free energy. He experimented with both high and low frequencies and electromagnetic waves. He envisioned altering the weather and creating shields around the Earth. Harp uses a billion watts beam straight into the ionosphere for experiments picture these strings on the piano as layers of the earth each one has its own frequency what we used to do is beam radio waves into the ground and it would vibrate any strings that were present in the ground we might get a sound back like and we'd say that's natural gas we might get a sound back like, and we say that's crude oil. We were able to identify each frequency. We accomplished this with just 30 watts of radio power. If you do this with a billion watts, the vibrations are so violent that the entire piano would shake. In fact, the whole house would shake. In fact, the vibrations could be so severe underground that could even cause an earthquake. While we feel that HARP is a unique facility, it's not the only one like it in the world. Uh, HARP has some, some capabilities that uh, we feel are better than some of the others. You can change the frequencies. Um, you can shift the beam so that you can, you can move it from one part of the, of the ionosphere to another. And it has quite a bit more power than some of the other facilities throughout the world that are doing the same kinds of research. I chose a what's called a phased array antenna for the patents because it can be aimed. Picture holding your microwave oven in your hands with the door open. Then you can move it around and send those microwaves different directions. And for these applications where I wanted precise control of where the power was, uh, I felt that was the best type of antenna to use. And alarming implications that unusual and unexpected biological components have been repeatedly identified in a variety of atmospheric samples across a wide geographic area using a variety of techniques. The fibrous material sent to the United States EPA is especially unsettling as it was later shown to contain biological components under the review of a medical professional. For those who might think that biological aerosols have no precedent, it might be worthwhile to read carefully the documented U.S. Senate hearings held in 1977 entitled Examination of Serious Deficiencies in the Defense Department's Effort to Protect the Human Subjects of Drug Research, along with the contractors that are enumerated within that report. A variety of electromagnetic devices have been developed and used. This investigation has resulted from the plausible hypothesis that the atmosphere has now been modified into what is called a plasma state, or an electrified gas. Testing has produced a variety of indications that this hypothesis is indeed correct, and that the atmosphere is regularly being used for electromagnetic applications. ELF energy is of special concern because of its direct connection to the health aspects of the electromagnetic nature of human beings. Artificial pulse energy appears to now have been detected on a variety of occasions, and evidence indicates that it is now a part of our unseen environment. Electrolysis methods have further confirmed the existence of unexpected ionizing metallic salts within our atmosphere. Radar anomalies also continue to point 
to the presence of an altered electromagnetic environment. The testing and sampling methods and results that you have just witnessed are necessary due to the abject failure of the public environmental authorities to respond appropriately to the many requests for investigation that have been made by countless citizens. The responses of the so-called officials and authorities has already become painfully apparent. When the Regan report reaches London, the British government knows that Jews are being slaughtered in vast numbers in Russia by SS units. But they simply could not believe that Jews were being deported from all over Europe to places in the East simply in order to be murdered. This was something that beggared the imagination. You had to stop being human to believe that such a thing was possible. Okay, so here we have the harp frequencies. This is the first time I've noticed the harp frequencies uh, on in the morning times. And as you notice, we have the cloud, this cloud cover over us. We see a slight lininess to the clouds here off the coast. And very likely what What is happening is that the HARP radar, NORAD, uh, or X-band radar is being broadcast to hold this cloud cover in place. This is the 5th of July, about 10.30. We have a slight, it looks like, uh, It looks like a uh, a west or a uh, a westerly wind uh, blowing slightly east as well. But yeah, it's the harp frequency started broadcasting here um, early in the morning. Usually they'll broadcast uh, about. 2 o'clock two in the a.m. This time today they started broadcasting about uh, probably about maybe 4, 4 a.m. It's hard to see but we do see a little bit of lightiness to these to these clouds off the coast. Now, I don't have a smart meter, uh, and so I have sort of ruled any of that out. However, next time um, I experience these, I'm going to uh, pull, the, pull the power on the house to make sure that uh, the RF frequencies are not coming in from the power line. And I want to show you uh, some apple trees here. These apple trees are experiencing some sort of some sort of leaf uh, problems. Now these, there's no uh, bugs on these leaves that I see, and so these are apple trees here, and. So I'm not sure exactly what you'd call this, but we're experiencing some sort of apple problem. Of course, these are not native apples. Here's another apple that's experiencing the same problem. Now this one I cut off so it uh, the contamination wouldn't affect the other parts of it, and it started to to uh, affect the... Now, these leaves weren't affected before. They're starting to be affected now. 
Um, here is basically another example. Now this time we have rapid growth on the top and then here we have the whatever the disease on the apple tree. So it's, I don't know if you'd call that curly leaf or not. We did, there's no pests on these. There doesn't seem to be any pests under the leaves as well. So there's no pests under the leaves that I could see. There is possibility there might be a mite in there, some mites in there. But uh, and then we have a particularly large amount of fruit coming off here now, which indicates to me that, uh, from what I understand, the plant is experiencing stress. And these apples, uh, supposedly, I will have to thin out uh, in order to uh, get some good ones out of this tree. So, yeah, that's my report for today. We have the cloud cover, I believe, that's held over us by the the harp transmissions. Now these harp transmissions, high oral active research uh, program, I have basically, it's kind of a nickname for the X-band radar technologies, the NORAD technologies, whereby they can manipulate the sprayed materials uh, by heating and or cooling the ionosphere to create higher low pressure zones and create any, any kind of weather pattern they would like. The uh, military industrial complex is possibly 30 years of what they want the public to know about. And of course, there's a huge propaganda campaign in the media. Uh, you don't hear them talking about this. They are probably uh, mandated not to talk about these types of things. Um, and as an example, we have found that fluoride in the water uh, via Harvard studies uh, lowers IQ and yet still they're putting fluoride in the water. Why do they put fluoride in the water? Because it it basically destroys the intuitive part of the brain so that people are uh, less cognitive. And that's another reason why they're spraying probably these aluminum nanoparticles is to uh, basically dumb down the public and so that the public is, is more more docile, more susceptible to the brainwashing and, frankly, bullying of the uh, popu populace. So that's my rant for today. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends, and you don't have to take my advice for what's going on. Uh, read the book, Angels Don't Play This Harp by Nick Baggage. Um, there are several websites, geoengineeringwatch.org, uh, stopthecrime.org, um, aircraft.org. There's tons of them. There's a Facebook uh, group called Global, uh, Global Chemtrail Watch or something like that where they have like several thousand members that you can join and glean information. And so I'm out for today.